Okay, so you may be interested in Mint Mobile and you want to know a little bit more about it. This is the perfect video for you. Hi, my name is Amir from Tavon Media and I have been a Mint Mobile user for a little over a year now. I switched because I got so sick and tired of paying $85, $90, $95 a month for a phone bill where I knew there was a better option. A quick Google search introduced me to Mint Mobile and here I am today, a year and a half later, a pretty happy customer. Some pros, some cons I'm gonna go over in this video. Now let's get the big news out of the way. Mint Mobile recently got acquired by T-Mobile for $1.35 billion. Now that's actually not a huge deal because Mint Mobile already uses the T-Mobile network. So if you have T-Mobile coverage in your area, then you're able to use Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is cheap for two reasons. Number one, because they are piggybacking off of T-Mobile's networks, so they don't have to make their own network. And number two, they don't have any physical stores. Everything is online. So you can't walk into a Mint Mobile, you can't go to customer service in person or anything like that. Everything is online and over the phone. So it brings their overhead down, which enables you to have cell phone service for as little as 15 bucks a month. And that will kick us off into the pros. The price is the biggest obvious, right? So you are able to pay for cell phone service starting at 15 bucks a month. That 15 bucks a month gets you unlimited talk and text. It gets you nationwide coverage. It uses the 5G or 4G LTE, whichever is strongest, and you get four gigabits of data per month. So this is for like sending emails, sending small little photos over iMessage or anything like that, right? Nothing too intensive. You're not streaming YouTube videos. You're not watching stuff on Netflix. You're not doing anything intensive of that sort. You're not streaming music on Spotify while you drive, anything like that. Four gigabits a month is just, just enough for you to get by where you can do simple, small tasks where you just need your phone to be a phone, to text message, to call, and to do the occasional surfing of the web every now and then. You've got a 10 gigabit a month option for 20 bucks a month. You've got a 15 gigabit option for 25 bucks a month. And then you have the version that I have, the unlimited tier for 30 bucks a month. You get unlimited talk and text, you get nationwide coverage, and 35 gigabits of 5G and 4G LTE data. This is what I've been using for the past year and a half. It is something that I'm very happy with because it gives me peace of mind. And I'm happy to know that all I have to pay is 30 bucks a month. Another great option is that you can actually get five gigabits of mobile hotspot totally for free with the unlimited plan. So not only do you get the unlimited pretty much everything, but you also get five gigabits of mobile hotspot, which has been very helpful over the years. We actually just had a power outage a couple days ago and it came in really handy for when I needed to send some emails or anything like that off of my laptop. And I uh, used the mobile hotspot to gain access to the internet. Yet another pro is that for new customers, you can lock in the $30 a month plan for the unlimited for three months as a new customer. After that three months, if you want to continue being on the unlimited plan, you can do another three month plan for $40 a month where you pay $120 upfront. So you pay the three months upfront or you do six months for 35 bucks a month for $210 total, or you can continue at that $30 a month price by paying $360 plus tax up front to get an entire year of cell phone service. So that's what I did. I paid $360 plus tax for an entire year of service so I don't have to worry about it. So it locks in at that $30 a month price plan. Another positive goes back to piggybacking off of the T-Mobile network. Now, again, if you have T-Mobile, then you will have Mint Mobile with no issues at all whatsoever. In fact, there have been times that I've been out with some friends who have other carriers where I've actually had higher internet speeds, better cell phone coverage, uh, and an overall better experience than those on the big companies, right? The, the nationwide, the huge companies that everyone knows of, the Verizons, the AT&Ts of the world. I was able to get awesome service at a fraction of the cost of what they were paying. And let me just tell you, the feeling of saving money, knowing that you're saving money on a monthly basis, knowing that the cost of your cell phone, something that you need, something that you have on your person at all times, for me, went from $88 a month to $30 a month, where I'm saving $58 a month was just a huge sigh of relief. It was a huge, beautiful, beautiful feeling and something that has made me very loyal 
to this company with a few cons. And let's get to the cons right now. So number one, yes, you have to pay in advance. So if you wanna get that $30 a month, or if you wanna get any of those price points, including even the $15 a month, you actually have to pay in advance. So for right now on the Mint Mobile website, you can sign up for a three month plan as a new customer where you get it for $15 a month. Now you're paying in advance. So you're paying 45 bucks up front, but again, $45 is peanuts compared to what the other guys charge, right? For one month. Now, if you wanna continue, then the three month plan is not $15 a month, but it's $25 a month. Six month plan is $20 a month. And the best value, the 12 month value is $15 a month and you pay $180 up front. Now what's really cool about this, and this is sort of a pro, so I'll go back to the pros real quick, is the fact that you can actually upgrade your plan if you want to. So if you are on a four gigabit plan and you're realizing, hey man, I'm getting really close to that four gigabits, I'm not going over yet, but I will really soon, then maybe I should get the 10 gigabit plan or the 20 gigabit plan or the 15 gigabit plan, or maybe I should just get the unlimited plan. And you can always upgrade. I've done that a few times actually, where I started out with maybe a 10. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm not using that much. And then all of a sudden I got really close to going over the 10. I'm like, you know what? Let me just go back to the unlimited for that peace of mind. Now let's go back to the cons. So as I said, Mint Mobile uses the T-Mobile network. But what's cool about the T-Mobile network is that T-Mobile actually in their price includes calling from Canada and from Mexico as well. So it's got all of North America covered. Whereas with Mint Mobile, the second you leave the country, let's say you go to Canada or you go to Mexico, you're SOL. You don't have coverage anymore unless you get an international plan. So the way that you get an international plan is that you actually go into the Mint Mobile application on your phone and you buy a predetermined amount of how much you think you're going to spend. There's a $5 option, a $10 option, and a $20 option if I'm not mistaken. This last trip that I recently did to Mexico, I would put down a $20 option. I spent $20 just so I can have some emergency coverage in areas that I didn't have Wi-Fi if I needed to use the phone. It came in really handy. I was in Mexico for about six days. And on day six, as I was getting back to the airport to come back home, my coverage ran out. So the $20 actually worked out perfectly for me. Granted, I was in an area that had Wi-Fi the entire time, but nonetheless, any time that I needed to use it while we were driving to a place or anything like that on our way to the airport, any of those things, I had cell phone coverage because I took care of it before the fact I got there. So keep that in mind. If you're a Mint Mobile user and you're traveling to another country, make sure to purchase that international plan before you get to that country, before you get to your destination. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get to a location that has Wi-Fi so that you can access the Mint Mobile app and from there purchase the international plan. The other con is there's no bill. And some people might think that that's, that's actually a good thing. This is one of the ways that Mint Mobile actually keeps their prices down. I've actually talked to customer service about this, but if you ever need a statement to show proof of address or anything like that, you can't use Mint Mobile. There's no billing, there's no nothing really. You just pay the one-time fee for whatever amount that you wanna use Mint Mobile for. For me, it's 12 months and that's it. You're locked in. So no matter what you do, you can't use your cell phone bill, for example, as a proof of address or anything like that. It is a small qualm, but it has come up where I've needed to every now and then show some proof of address for something, uh, going to the DMV or anything like that, where I'm like, you know, it'd be really great if I could just show my cell phone bill for this, as opposed to, you know, my electricity bill or anything like that. But small qualm, but it is something that I thought I'd bring up to your attention. And that actually piggybacks onto the last con that I have, and that's this. If, for example, you decide that you want to leave Mint Mobile for any reason whatsoever, it's not for you anymore, it's not working out, or you are not having great coverage, you basically have seven days from the time you lock in that, that contract to get out of the contract with Mint Mobile. Otherwise, that money that you've paid up front, in my case, the $360 for the year, is gone. So even if you've used the service for three months as opposed to 12 months, six months as opposed to 12 months, you're paying for the full 12 months whether or not you stay with Mint Mobile. Now, in my case, I have no reason to leave, but I did find that interesting that let's say I had a valid reason where I wanted to go or anything like that. Mint Mobile will not be able to refund you or prorate an amount say, okay, you paid 360, here's 180 back for the remaining six months. It doesn't do that. So you are basically paying for the entire year upfront and that's it. That's the service that you have. But overall, the experience of switching over to Mint Mobile was a very easy one. I was an AT&T user and I 
called AT&T and I let them know that, you know, I was going to be switching to another carrier. And when they tried to keep me, I said, look, I'm getting everything for 30 bucks a month unlimited. And they're like, we can't match that. They unlocked my phone. They let my phone number go. And so when I went to Mint Mobile, I was able to port over my number, no problem. I was able to use my iPhone, no problem. And when I got a brand new iPhone, when I got the iPhone 13 Pro, just put the Mint Mobile SIM card in there and immediately, everything was good to go. Now you do have eSIM with Mint Mobile as well. The process for porting over, for switching over, could not have been easier. Now T-Mobile did say that with their acquisition of Mint Mobile, they have no plans of changing the $15 a month price point. Um, I'm one of those people where I'll believe it when I see it. For the time being, they probably won't change it, but I think as they acquire more and more customers and they require more and more overhead to run the company, I think you will see price increases. I think you'll finally, I think you'll eventually see $15 become 20. I think you'll eventually see $30 for unlimited become 40, 45, because that's kind of the norm where it is right now in 2023, but that's not happening right now. So if you want an amazing deal, I highly do recommend Mint Mobile if you are, let's say, not traveling a lot. Again, like I said, if you're primarily in the United States and you are able to get good coverage from T-Mobile and Mint Mobile actually has a coverage map on their website too. So you can put in your address and see how good your coverage is in the area that you live in. Then if it's for you and it ticks off all those boxes, I can't recommend it enough. It's been a great experience for me so far. The customer service is excellent. I've really enjoyed talking to them on the phone the few times that I've had to. The coverage is great. I get amazing uh, download and upload speeds as far as internet connection goes. Phone calls sound great. No dropped calls or anything like that. So for me in Northern California, the experience has been a very, very good one. I hope this video was informational for you and educational, and I hope you learned some things about Mint Mobile, some pros, some cons before you make your decision to port over. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.